Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to set up Azure Active Directory connect pass through authentication option. When organizations want to use same username and passwords to log in to on premises Active Directory and cloud workloads with Azure Active Directory, there are two options. One is to sync username and password hashes from on-premises Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. We can achieve it using password hash synchronization user sign-in option in Azure AD Connect tool. On-premises Active Directory usage has values which are generated by a hash algorithm as passwords. Remember, they are not saved as clear text and it is almost impossible to revert it to the original password even someone have hash values. Every two minutes, the Azure Active Directory Connect Server retrieves password hashes from the on-premises Active Directory and syncs it with Azure Active Directory on a per-user basis in chronological order. This is preferred option by most organizations who are using hybrid identity setup. The other option is to deploy ADFS farm on premises and use it to authenticate cloud-based logins. But it needs additional planning and resources. In the past videos, we have installed and configured Azure AD Connect tool to use password has synchronization as an user sign-in option in our hybrid setup. This time, we want to check how we can set up Azure Active Directory connect pass-through authentication user sign-in option. So the question is, what is pass-through authentication and how it works? Azure Active Directory pass-through authentication allows your users to sign into both on-premises and cloud-based applications by using the same passwords. Pass-through authentication, also known as PTA, is a feature of Azure AD Connect. It involves a simple service in the form of an agent running on one or several on-premises domain join server, which validates a user's sign-on request on behalf of Azure Active Directory directly with the on-premises Active Directory. The password need not to be present in Azure Active Directory in any form. The agent connects outbound to Azure Active Directory and listen for authentication request, so it only requires outbound ports to be open. This service can be used when on-premises validation is required. For example, when a policy Regulation or law doesn't allow synchronization of password hashes, which is Microsoft's favored approach when using Azure AD Connect. In those scenarios, we can set up Azure Active Directory Connect Pass-Through Authentication option. It also has the advantage that any on-premises policies such as working hour restrictions can be evaluated during authentication to cloud services. Before watching this video, check out the video on how to install and configure Azure AD Connect tool on Windows Server 2022. Link is given in the description area. Now let's come back to the practical part. This is our domain controller named WS2K22 DC01 for MSF Surat.local. On this domain controller, we have installed and configured Azure AD Connect tool. To configure pass-through authentication option, you must have access to both an on-premises administrator and an Azure AD Global Administrator. First, let's check pass-through authentication user sign-in option status in Azure Active Directory. Sign in to the Azure portal using an account with Global Administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD Portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com Under Manage, click on Azure AD Connect. Under User Sign-in, 
check the status or pass through authentication. We can confirm it is currently disabled in our Azure Active Directory tenant. So let's see how we can enable pass through authentication option for user sign in. Let's go to our domain controller VM. Uh, let me minimize this our manager. First step is to open up Azure AD Connect tool. Let's double click on the icon on desktop, which will open Azure AD Connect tool. Click on configure. From the list of options we can configure, click on change user sign-in option. After selecting change user sign-in option, click next. We will now be prompted to enter our Azure AD tenant's global administrator credentials. Let me specify the password and click next. It will connect to Microsoft Online to verify the username, password and the permissions. On the user sign-in page, we can verify currently we are using password has synchronization options. To enable pass-through authentication option, select the radio button in front of it. Now select the radio button in front of pass-through authentication. If you want to know more about pass-through authentication, you can click here and you can read more information about pass-through authentication. Make sure enable single sign-on option is selected, which we have enabled in the last video. Let's click next. If required, enter a domain administrator account to configure on premises forest for use with single sign-on. In our case, it is already configured. So here I'm going to click next. Make sure start the synchronization process when configuration completes checkbox is selected. Under ready to configure, we can see what exactly this is going to do. Install Microsoft Azure AD Connect authentication agent for pass-through authentication. Then it is going to enable pass-through authentication in our Azure Active Directory tenant. And it is also going to enable manage authentication in Azure. We need to select this checkbox so sync process start automatically when configuration completes. Click on configure to start the process. Pass through authentication installs a lightweight agent on the device where Azure AD Connect is running. The agent communicates with the Azure Active Directory using port number 80 and 443 and can be installed on an AD member server or domain controller. Additional agents must be installed manually if high availability is required. As you can see, currently it is enabling pass-through authentication. As you can see, the configuration is completed successfully and the sign-on method for Azure Active Directory is now pass-through authentication. Click Exit to close this window. Perfect. So at this moment, we have successfully set up Azure Active Directory Connect tool to use pass-through authentication option for user sign-in. We also want to verify that we have enabled pass-through authentication correctly in our Azure Active Directory tenant as well. Go back to Azure Active Directory Admin Center web interface. Under user sign-in, as you can see, currently pass-through authentication is currently disabled. So first I'm going to refresh this and let's see what happens. Even after clicking on refresh, still pass-through authentication is disabled. So I'm going to refresh the entire web page and for that I'm going to click here and let's refresh the entire web page. Yeah, now we can see pass-through authentication user sign-in option is enabled with one agent which we have installed on our domain controller. Here we have some warning. Let's see why we have that warning. But for that, I'm going to click on pass through authentication link first. Here we can see the list of servers where our authentication agents are currently installed. In our case, we have only one server, which is our domain controller ws2k22-dc01.msfsura.local. Here I can see my IP address and status is currently enabled. At this stage, users from our tenant can sign in by using pass-through authentication option. However, users from federated domains 
continue to sign in by using ADFS or another federation provider that you have previously configured. If you convert a domain from federated to manage, all users from that domain automatically start signing in by using pass-through authentication. The pass-through authentication feature does not affect cloud-only users. If you plan to deploy pass-through authentication in a production environment, you should install additional stand-alone authentication agents. So basically, we need to install these authentication agent on server or servers other than the one running Azure AD Connected Tool. This setup provides you with high availability for user sign-in request. In production environments, Microsoft recommend that we have a minimum of three authentication agents running on our tenant. There is a system limit of 40 authentication agents for Azure Active Directory tenant. And that's why here we can see one warning message. We recommend that you have a minimum of three authentication agents running on your tenant. And if we go back, that is the reason why we have a orange explanation mark here. It is telling us that please install three or more authentication agents for high availability. So that concludes the video on how to set up Azure Active Directory, connect pass through authentication, use a sign in option in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.